The Land of Raw by Jenny McLaughlin and illustrated by Ben Mantle, published by Egmont. When Arthur and Rose were very, very little, they used to go and stay with their granddad and up in the attic, they created this magical land that they called the Land of Raw. Fast forward a few years and Arthur and Rose are growing up, but Rose is growing up possibly a little quicker than Arthur and she's no longer interested in make-believe. She is interested in makeup and the girl who lives next door to her granddad and going off and having fun and maybe even talking to some boys. But Arthur still likes to play and he still likes his imagination and so as he feels completely deserted by Rose, he goes up into his granddad's attic and he starts to find a few of the things that they realised were from the land of Raw, from when they were kids, and he starts remembering all about it. And then some very strange things start happening. And he starts finding things that can't possibly be in Grandad's attic for any other reason, except maybe, maybe, the land of Raw is real. Maybe, maybe, these things came from the land of Raw. And then when his granddad disappears, it is up to Arthur to convince Rose that they have to go to find him. And they manage to do that. And the only way into the land of Raw is in the hideaway bed in granddad's attic. So the two of them manage to go down the back of the sofa into the bed and land in the land of Raw where they have to <clears throat> meet with some of the people who live there, the denizens of the Land of Raw, and then they have to fight the evils. But because Rose and Arthur invented Raw, their biggest obstacles are their biggest, biggest fears. It's a fantastic adventure. It's a beautiful book. It has fabulous French flaps and amazing illustrations all the way all the way through it's just a brilliant brilliant book highly highly recommend